Hi guys, this is Lee with the Market Sense for the week of April 9th, 2019. The charts in this presentation are from the Trade Navigator software that's provided by Genesis Financial Technologies and I stare at it on a daily basis. And we're looking at a weekly bond market chart here, which is uh, kind of yuck, if I could use a technical term. After we got this big move out of the sideways pattern here, they kind of spiked a little too high for anybody's taste, and they backed off substantially. So consolidating that move is no surprise here. It, it's no surprise, but it's not a lot of fun to trade. Uh, the resistance could conceivably be around the 148.16 area here. Um, and that would especially be true if they're going to hold support in the 146.28 area. That, well, If you can imagine that bar right there, sort of inside, just slightly below that bar, that makes a lot of sense after this big move down. However, I, and I, the, there's nothing to stop them from going back up here to the 149.26 area. That would also be good resistance this week. It would actually create a little cleaner pattern as far as I'm concerned, but I'm not in the habit of expecting the markets to give me something clean. So um, I'm not sure what they might do. I'm afraid they might not do much, but we do have uh, CPI and PPI in consecutive days this week. So nothing is out of the question. They could be down here to the mid Keltner channel near 145, or they could be going testing the highs up above getting close to 151 here. Um, both of those things are possible. I, I think staying between 48.16 and 46.28 is probably the most likely scenario. But either way, it, it's not a whole lot of clear-cut opportunity here that I can see anyway. Now in stocks, uh, last week kind of surprised people by closing very strong and, and making this entire move up look like a ridiculously strong uptrend. Of course, they still haven't gotten back to the old highs, and that's something to pay attention to. Uh, in in this particular case here, after this strong week, we were kind of looking for the 29.15 area to at least be tested this week, and instead they've just turned down so far. But turned down, eh, it's kind of a relative term. The support, if they are going to continue to trend up strongly, is down around 2868, and they have not been even that low with the turndown, so not any major turndown to speak of. Um, in fact, I think they could probably go back to that green moving average, which is 2843, and still look reasonably healthy. Uh, I mean, uh, boy, this move up since the since the lows at the end of last year is just... Uh, very relentless, the minor back-offs for a week or so at a time, you'd have to expect we'd see a bigger move down at some point. But so far, they haven't shown anything. So therefore, I think if they get to this 2868 support, have to take a hard look at them and see it. Because if they're going to bounce from there, they could beat new highs awfully quickly. I don't see a fundamental reason for them to do that. But I haven't seen a fundamental reason for this move either. And here they are. So that's what we've got for you today. I hope you can find something profitable to get you